Oh, my forehead. Quite a bit indeed. The ladder's on fire again. Oh, the fire's spreading a bit. Alright, let's just let it spread. <clears throat> Can't switch to anything else. Jump. Yeah. All right. Let's see if this does anything. Ooh. Yep, that does something. <laughs> Spun me right back into the fire, apparently. Okay, this thing appears to be unlimited before you put out the fire. Can I die a few more oh. times and screw with the game? spawns me right next to the ladder where I'm immediately Ooh. set on fire again. And immediately die again. Ooh. Yeah, that's kind of a bit of a problem there. Can I put myself out? Nope. I don't think I can put myself oh. out. I, I can't put myself out. I think we have a problem here. <laughs> I think I broke the frickin' game. Ooh. Right. That's interesting. I run back into the fire and it puts me out. Yeah, that looks like a bit of a bug to me. Time to report that. Let's see. Wait, oh, that, that is not right. There it is. There we go. Just give me a minute here.
continuous word. How do I fucking spell that word? Continue spelled with an E. What, do I just add another ES to make it continuous? No, that just looks fucking weird. Fuck it. Fuck English. Fuck the spelling of it. It's just gonna be what it is. Continue with an S at the end. <coughs> Hey, continuous dying bug in the life pod. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Seems to be a gameplay bug. And it's mildly annoying. Also, I need to move my stream overlay, so give me just a moment. Yeah, there we go, that seems about right. Okay. Let's die a few more times. No, let's let me die a few more times. And I'm on fire again. Move away from it, I don't get put out. Now put myself out. And I die. Spawn in again, right next to the ladder, immediately on fire, and can't put myself out. Okay, that's a bug. A bug or glitch, whatever you want to call it. Run back in the fire, come out, and I'm fine. Okay. That's definitely a bug. How is no one making Subnautica found this? Uh, let's see. Tried uh, using up the extinguisher. It's apparently got infinite until you put out the fire. Can't switch it or get rid of it in the inventory. Hold up, I can't even bring up my inventory. Yeah. So apart from... Well, currently, apart from that infinite dying glitch... Bug, whatever. The only thing left to do is put the fire out and continue. Thank you, tutorials. Open and close the thingy. Select quicks. Yeah, okay, yeah, nice. Yeah, why not uh, have have it say press B to put away item? Oh. 
Um, clicking in left stick. What is this doing? <laughs> Not much right now. I'll just put something else in my inventory slot and see what it does. Clicking the left stick doesn't do anything with this. What about with this? Oh, nothing with that either. I don't think I'll need that just yet. <clears throat> Time to collect resources. What's the first thing I'm gonna make? I need to get a battery and titanium. Definitely going to need that. Hmm. I've had a problem before where it was in the... Yeah. In the, um... Oh, what was it? alien containment unit where I'd jump in and I'd be facing away from the, the hatch that I made in it and it would still have the option to exit the um the thingy that's another glitch let's see give some feedback on that that's a bug it's a gameplay bug <laughs> Obstructed, obstructed, where's obstructed in the, oh, for fuck's sake. <clears throat> Stru obstructed through the environment. Yeah, there we go. had a similar occurrence with the um, um, the holographic display in the entire cockpit for the um, Cyclops Yeah, 
and just type this out. And it is mildly annoying. Gonna need a few of these. Do I need to make a battery? A bit of copper. That's going to be fun. Three titanium to make a standard tank. I'll just cram these bits in here and that for the moment. Um, UI bit right there for entering and exiting things is a bit uh, just just a few millimeters off. That's <clears throat> too dark for this. I have all those nifty options I had when this was in pre-release. <sighs> you know, I'm just gonna ask him to give, put that back in. Wait, that wasn't even fucking... There we go. Wait, there it is right there, okay. Uh, let's see, general and gameplay. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that idea in itself. Oxygen. It is way too dark right now. <coughs>
Well, I can't tell if I'm moving past outcrops that I can break. It's just way too dark right now. <clears throat> as far as having the, the graphic options and the UI from when the game was in pre-release, I want to use those so I don't have to build and use a flashlight. Eat something. Yeah, very nice. Thank you for letting me know. <clears throat> Give me a moment. There's someone who wanted me to let them know when I was uh, stream recording this again. There we go. <sighs> this is going to take a while. A really, really long while. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core. Fuck you, train! The reason those trains always blast their horns so much when they're driving by or moving by, whatever you want to say, is because there are three, three crossings that I can, I can walk, I can just literally walk to all three of them from where I am. Sustained during planet four. Right. <clears throat> this isn't a save that I'm going to be worried about achievements on, and I'm just doing um, stress testing. go and if you do use the um, console commands or dev console whatever that you want to call it it's gonna lock out your achievements for that play session go ahead and get one of those on Sweet! I'm right next to the thermal vent. 
unlimited power. Console command list. Command has two M's. I really don't care. Change your movement speed. Oh, that's nice. And it's not even got a full list there. Okay. Time to try a different one. Oh yeah, I definitely need the scanner right now. <clears throat> I think that's enough of salvage for now. I need the ultra capacity air tank, I really do. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Ah, oh, yeah, very nice, thank you. Very nice to recommend further study. Good for you. Is an essential there we go, that's what I needed. Equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Your faith in me is astounding, you know that, right? I'm back here, I want to catch you, I need food.
Okay, glass and titanium and silver for a high capacity tank. Why is that high capacity O2 just two standard tanks with a bit of extra titanium involved? You know, putting the, uh, the glass and the silver doesn't make much sense to me. If you look at actual scuba gear, it's compressed liquid oxygen that lasts you bloody fucking hours underwater and there's no glass and no gold or silver involved in the construction it just doesn't make sense to me yeah but titanium does it's an incredibly robust building material it's that standard or high capacity O2 tank in this game should have a lot more oxygen in it you know by default because it's titanium it's not like you're blowing into the tank to fill it up now is it or you know just add the ingredients and the, the recipe for an air compressor just to recharge it that way. It's a bit more realistic. You have to wait a while before it's full. Still, it seems a lot better to do it that way. Oh, now for the fun part, scanning a paper. 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, hang on. It's 30 seconds. <coughs> okay, that link didn't work, so where's the other one? Uh, Subnautica Fandom, powered by Wiki. I don't like using it because it's slow on my old ass laptop. box with another there it is there's a box I don't know if it's the one that I passed earlier data scattered wreckage. I'm not too sure that's geological.
Can I scan you? No, apparently I cannot. No, but I can scan you. Thirty seconds. Are looking for this. Man, that fucking ad is annoying. It says ad closed, but it's not removing the fucking box it was in. Google, what the hell's your problem, mate? Google, get your fucking stupid box off my damn screen, you fucking assholes. I don't want to see this message telling me the fucking ad is closed. It's covering content. Yeah, get rid of the fucking box. It says the ad's closed, but it's not fucking moving the damn... Oh, yeah, fuck it, who cares? <clears throat> Maybe if I get rid of it, if I move, reload the page. Fucking ads are ruining every damn thing, mate. What was it I wanted to do? Oh yeah, I wanted to just dis display my frame rate. <laughs> Change game mode. Debug sound. Entity reloads all assets of the game except for terrain. Entity reset. Nice. Field of view, free camera, FPS, there it is, shows the frame rate. Uh, there we go. It's not showing it. Oh. Is it case sensitive? Yeah, yeah, it's case sensitive. Yeah, I'm at uh, about 30 frames a second, 33 point something millisecond. It looks like delay. How much data is being used? 0.05 megs per second. Fixed updates per frame. Yeah, that's okay. It's not very contrasting. It's kind of stuck there in the corner. But okay. Okay. 
Hey, get back here, I'm scanning you. New creature discovered. Why do I have to pick it up to discover it? Why can't I just be scanned? Oh yeah, I don't want to be around that guy. He'll bite me bum. I'm not ready for that just yet. I don't even have a knife. Hey, Rabbit Ray, hold still. I'm gonna scan you. Better not lead me into a stalker. I'll be quite crossed indeed. Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self scan is advised. Uh, the uh, interaction mesh versus the display model for the, some of these items is just off. They're wiggling back and forth completely separately. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign. Back Continuing to hey, monitor. the table coral got an overhaul. Look at that, different colors. That's beautiful. Nice. Let me let a boomerang fish. Just, just hold still, let me scan you. Go. New creature discovered. Now where's a Gary? There's a Gary. Where'd it go? Is it just that small that he gets right past me? New creature discovered. front me instead of in my hand for a moment. Can I scan you? No, I cannot. But I can collect you. Not anymore. Glass and silver and silicon rubber. One creep vine seed cluster gets two silicon rubber. Nice, I like it. The 
fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. I would love to override that safety. to the bit of collecting way too much stuff way too early on and not having the proper storage to put it into. <clears throat> I could make a waterproof locker. Titanium and lead. I could make a bunch of corridors and a bunch of lockers. Yeah, that that work. I just need the lead. It's dark again. <laughs> Come Please back here, I'm trying to collect you. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. That's exactly where I want to start building my base, in that deep cavernous thermal pit. <clears throat> a chip, a wiring kit, and a battery. gold for that. Alright, I need to speed this up a bit. No, not that way. There we go. just make it outright. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Caution. Continued degradation of the auroras. Drive core may result in a point of detonation, continuing to monitor. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Braxis Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Let's just make one of these. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. <coughs> From 75 goes up to 135. Well, that's nice.
Now this is gonna be fun. I do not want to spend all that time going after the reactor, thermal reactor, blueprint business. take I forgot the A. That isn't working at all. I know, print biome is not working at all. And I killed myself. <clears throat> when I respawned, I had me builder out and had the thingy. 
telling me where I was trying to place it. dive suit to go down there and that is not reaching my thingy I'm gonna wind up killing myself again. I know I died. Thank you for notifying me. killed myself again. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, this is real fun. I'm actually getting out of those. Clips happening. Yes, yes, there is. Hey, there's a bird just perched on nothing up there. Well, technically, in game, it's a sky ray. It may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Welcome aboard, the Captain, but never forget that it is not. So those bit of thermal plants down there in in an excess of 70 degrees um, Celsius. That one's at 63. The ones further down are in excess of 70. And the power is constantly being transmitted. Okay. Now off to this side. Honestly, I just want to build a lot and see how far I can push everything. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Thank <laughs> you. 
just want to see how much it takes to tank the game all over again. Same thing I did on my previous channel. Which is deleted. That's okay. I can do it all over again. And I am right now. Was a weird sound I haven't heard before. they've updated some of the game sounds. They just weren't playing on my previous save because it's so old. Also, I have to keep pressing the A button to place these when I'm getting it just between that red and green. I'd like to be able to hold it. Warning. Just Liberate hold the button down. Choking about me. Three thousand nine hundred twenty five power. Look at it just skyrocketing. Four thousand 
fucking solar panels, man. Fucking solar panels. Near the surface of the water, solar panels are basically, what, the densest power producing? in large numbers. And with, um, oh yeah, 67% sun. 68%, 69%. It's not even maxed out. How much is too much? I really don't know. Oh yeah, uh, I don't know which update it was in, but if you put solar panels on something, you know, really deep, it doesn't uh, store extra charge anymore. 
it's just sort of there and doesn't store any charge, it doesn't gain any charge. But a thing that I would love to see in a lot of games, this one and Factorio included, is if you had a, um, if you prop up one of these floodlights, on your base and have it going on your solar panels it provides extra light I mean, granted it's not going to be as effective as the sunlight in the game but still it would be really nice if it did provide a, some extra charge to the panel even if it was particularly limited. How much power have I got going now? 5,875! It's not climbing as fast anymore. That may be because it's hey, all these are full. It's the thermal vents down here. These aren't getting maxed out, they're getting pulses from the thermal vent. one bit that concerns me, not greatly, just minorly, concerns me about the, the thermal power. What are those things called again? Thermal plants. Yeah, they don't seem very consistent and then the temperature kind of fluctuates here and there. It doesn't matter where I've built them. It's just that it fluctuates and it's not really 100% consistent. Even in the active uh, lava zone, next to the primary precursor power facility, it's just... It's not very consistent. Fluctuates by a degree or two here and there. can I keep building before I actually dip the frame rate really bad? <clears throat> Let's see how far I can take this. Just build mindlessly until it's all petering out. Right now it's starting to dip down to 20 something. 25. It's loading all that stuff in in front of me. Here's what I'm going to do. Actually, it 
seven frame rates for just a second. critical step towards self-sufficiency. Consider keeping a photo journal of your achievements to motivate you in times of despair. Aquaria, provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. them up for the bioreactor. Hey, I forgot. I forgot. Uh, okay. You can go there. Why is it swapping it? Quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, There's another Gary. <coughs> it got really dark after that explosion. That was like super fast. It says exit alien containment as soon as I've already entered it. It shouldn't say that just because I'm right here. Oh, 
those, bit of that. some papers there. Yeah, why not? Just give them two of those. There you go. and Gary Fishes. So the peepers are probably gonna breed a lot faster than the Gary Fish because they've got more stuff in the tank. something else. I remembered if I wanted to absolutely tank the game's frame rate, it was all, not all, but great portion of it. You can put salt in there. Can't, no, salt's not organic. How dare you tell me that? still does a bit of latency in the game. And it gets more and more the more you build. Right, got down to 14. Ah, so I hit 3 for just a split second. A rabbit rate, you can't go through that. Do you not see that? Come on, bugger off.
Okay. That was an automated message from some idiot company about car insurance. Wow. Fuckwits. Just pull your name and not your name, you just your fucking phone number off of your service provider and say, oh yeah, I'm gonna give this idiot a call and see if I can get any info out of them. Nobody fucking cares to introduce themselves and just use these fucking bots. BOTS! Fucking bots that corporatocracy is using. Oh my god. Fucking hell. Seriously. Butt munching. Morons. This is a great idea, this is. Consistent down to like 16. 16 frame rate. And after I put away the building tool, it jumps back up. This is gonna take a while. Welcome aboard, Captain. Where's the other Gary? You suppose they're both male or both female? No, can't suppose that. Not at all. Life on this planet reproduces interestingly. Both parents are both sexes apparently. That's a perfectly bad place for that ladder. Looks like a good spot for a ladder. Wait, you, you stay inside, you don't try to get out.
Hi, that time it hit one frame after I finished building. It's starting to show. Seven, seventeen, bouncing. It's trying to keep up. When are you going to make more peepers? As far as uh, nuclear power goes, I think, honestly believe that these reactor rods should last a lot longer than they do. Like, they shouldn't go and, and degrade into spent nuclear reactor rods, they should drop down to a point where you have to basically put them by themselves and they slowly regenerate over time. 
That way you don't have to build like a bunch of them. Kind of like uh, realistically nuclear half-life and whatnot. It kind of lasts for a long time. Like years. Why haven't you peepers made more? The Garys have made more than you! of peepers can now be peepified. Ah, there's one. And little rabbit ray, you're gonna have to go elsewhere. Come on, let me, I'll push you away. Come, uh, stop going back. Yeah, I'll, I'll help you. Go that way. There you go, mate. You're free. Don't come back. You'll get stuck again. Plus three megs a second. Wonder what that means. Ninety seven seconds between GC sixty eight. What does that mean? Graphics computation? I don't know. Gonna keep making this bigger.
nice and sizable now. <clears throat> now this needs this needs some light. goes out pretty far too. I think I'll just do it easier and uh, from this side. Pressing all the wrong buttons again. There we go. Why are these glowing? It looks like I'm killing the game because that's so separate -y. How fast is this gonna charge? <clears throat> hey, you've got more than enough power to charge faster. To 
2,500 out of 2,500. Okay, yeah, that works. Massive overkill on the amount of electricity being used here. Massive overkill. What was I doing again? Oh yeah. This bit. If I have enough in the game, if I have enough materials to craft more than one at a time, I would like to be able to. Place you here. charge <clears throat> got a few Garys going there all right nice uh, how many um, I can't see all the way to the top there's a few peepers there decidedly not a lot but I can take those Got some. Yeah, I'll take use too. There we go. That'll do it.
time to add more to this. Alright, starting to tank a bit. I better keep building. For the life of me, I can't get these things to turn. There we go, that feels about right. human contact. It is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. I don't think I'm quite there yet. I mean, I am talking to a video game. So maybe I'm quite there already, but I don't think I'm ready for anthropomorphizing an inanimate object or talking to a critter. See that gets obstructed by the environment. That text on screen, it's not an overlay as it should be. Okay, I'll get me one of those. Mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Welcome aboard, Captain. Left myself quite a bit of room there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, since this side is going to be facing where the stuff I'm going to build is dropping in. Yeah, put one of those right there. Yeah, this bit. And get bunches of those. Did I not turn the lights off on this thing? All systems online. Now I've turned them off. Why did it turn them back on?
Well, that was funky. When I built the other bit, it popped the sea moth out and then put it back in. Looks nice. Got a few more Garys in. Okay. Got a few more peepers. It's taking the time though. Gary's, you're doing a lot better than the peepers. Okay, you're getting more to deal with. More to work with. There you go. Have fun with it. There you go, mate. Swim up and around. Enjoy it. Nice yellow glow from the creep vines in here. That's nice. Okay, fine. Okay, yeah, yeah. Vital signs stabilizing. Just eat that. Get that. That. There we go. I think the only factor that I should be worried about is, is the thermal plant. Yeah, that's the one that doesn't seem to be consistently putting out. Even with the one all the way down there. should be putting it out consistently. 63 Celsius is pretty, pretty high up. Fifty-seven's all right too. What's the normal human temperature in Celsius? Was it like 32? 32 degrees Celsius. And that's usually 98 point some odd degrees Fahrenheit. So those, that, that should be consistent instead of the pulses from the thing pulsing itself. The fact that that temperature around it is so consistent just not reflected in the amount of power that it's generating. 
it should be a consistent steady stream. Theoretically, it should be better than the solar panels because it's continuously the same temperature and it should be just continuously drawing that amount. But it's just not working that way. The thermal plants just, they're not working the way that a normal thermal coupling would work. Consistent, steady, renewable energy. That's, that's the way the thermal plant should be working. As well as the solar plant. It should be, well, the solar plant less that way and more dependent on how much exposure it has to the sun, but, or a light source. <laughs> but these thermal plants should be consistent. They shouldn't have spikes. Because there's that thermal barrier where you get close and it starts hurting you. Yeah, right there. This one says 63 degrees. That's pretty high above the human temperature. This one says 75. Yeah, that should be a lot more. It should be putting out consistent steady. But it's just not. <clears throat> I look back over here and it dipped to, was it, 19? Yeah, it dipped to about 19 frames. I gotta build more! Get a mega base. We, as in everyone who's got this game on the Xbox One, have they managed to finagle the memory usage for each thing to where we can all just build a mega base? No, oh, I can't put it through that. Okay. Even with it stuttering right now, it's still playable. That one's getting worse. Well, that's interesting. The light from those um, lamps I put up is going straight through the foundation. as low as 17 frames but it seems to have around 19 to 20 right here. It's somewhere between 
especially when I'm looking at that stuff. Those are full up. That's two fifty. Which one is not full up? Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, that one's full up. One thousand, no, ten thousand six hundred and forty something. One of the bits is having trouble. <clears throat> this one, let's fill up. What's having trouble here? You're the one having trouble. It's 63 degrees Celsius all having trouble. You're inconsistent, mate. You're off the grid. Oh. It's 75 degrees Celsius. You're having trouble. Mate, you're, you're, you're about to get off the grid. You're at 78 and you're having trouble. And I had a reinforced dive suit and died right there. These thermal plants, then they're, they're not working as intended. So I got him down here and the heat's so intense it just literally killed me. thing is not efficient, it's a 75 degrees C. It's like a few hundred, it's like a few hundred. So the heat just fucking ransacked me. From that burst, and it's not doing anything for the power at least. These thermal plants that do not work in as they should. They're off the grid, mate. They're just not working as intended. Those thermal plants, they're they're almost useless. They need to provide a continuous stream of a charge. And they're just not doing it. The solar panels are better than them. That's at this depth. Once you go deeper, solar panels just don't do anything for you.
the solar panel and the thermal plant need to be equal in the aspect of providing a continuous stream based on the exposure they have respectively to the solar panel needing light and the thermal plant needing heat. Now the heat in that thermal geyser there, that's a, that's enough to kill my character and it did even with a reinforced dive suit. So that should have provided continuous, reliable, continuous and steady stream of heat instead of a couple of blips every now and then that just went back down. charging too. Yeah, what is taking the charge? put just so much on it is it those lights is that what's taking the charge Outside the thingy. <clears throat> okay. Why doesn't it give me any information as to whether this is draining power or not? really like that information.
bloodline, so you use it with the power. So I cut that out by half. Why are you struggling? <clears throat> it seems that the power distributions is the the game's coding seems to be treating each solar cell as an individual battery in the game's sub-processes. Instead of connecting all of it together into one pool of energy to draw from because everything's in the same base. Providing power to these. I've got this massive solar cells bank of solar cells. And it keeps taking from this one, then it goes over here, this one. It's bouncing back and forth because the, the, this one's depleting and then it comes back up when, when it's charging. Yeah, it's treating it all as individual bits instead of they're all linked together. And if they were all linked together because it's all on the same base into one pool of power as displayed at the top of my screen there, literally the 11,275 maximum amount of power that I can have, if it were all pulled together first and then the calculations were done to drain from the pool like um, it'd be nice if, if you had like a power storage area where it all pulls together and then it drains from that pool that storage area before it drains from these bits or you know just have these to where they don't have an accumulated charge they just have an efficiency rating for how much exposure they're getting to the sun same with the efficiency rating for the thermal plants how much uh, exposure they're getting to the temperature the higher the temperature, the more output they have, and it's a continuous steady stream. And you, ha you build something in one of these large rooms, like a power bank, and just make it to where it's a um, you know, massive 10,000 total power in one bank. That way you can charge it up off of one solar panel or one thermal plant or one bioreactor or, or one nuclear reactor. <clears throat> I don't know like, what to tell the, the dev team. I don't know what to say about the, the resource cost for that, but... I feel that with the game's current um, subsystems going the way it is, the way it's treating each individual item that you build, you know, from the 
bioreactor, the nuclear reactor, the solar panels, the thermal plant, is treating them as all separate batteries on their own. When I would just like to have one central dump for them all to go into. Just build a massive thing, maybe on the wall, maybe in the center of the room, just to store the power. And if it's on the wall, I know like 5,000 power worth for each one that you put on the wall. As it stands right now, in order to make a mega base and keep it going efficiently, you need a massive fuck ton. A massive fuck ton of either solar or thermal or nuclear or bioreactors. So I'd just like to build something that's an add-on to the, the large circular shaped room here. I wouldn't want it to detract from the whole integrity. So, you know, whatever recipe accordingly for that. But as it stands now, the way power works in this game is... It's not as efficient as it could be. It could be way more efficient. <laughs> also, Back in the um, uh, the pre-release software version, when you put a solar panel or a thermal plant on the foundation or on your base, whatever part of it, it actually doubled the uh, capacity you could get out of it. And I actually really liked that. I'd like it to come back. Trying to build at three frames a second. Thirty seconds. That's not too good. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biome diversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. For the moment, I think I'm done. Let's see, sixty-three percent charge is just 
It's killing it. It's killing it. That charge is just killing it. Have each one of these going in sequence like that is it's killing the game sub processes. Now there, there's probably a nice um, technical term that the the devs themselves use, but it is a sub process because it's not something that everyone gets to actively see when looking at the gameplay. It's something you kind of have to feel out. You gotta have a feel for what's going on. If you don't really know exactly what's in the game's code. So no, I'm not um, a code miner or anything like that. I just have a basic knowledge of how things work. And yeah, the the allocation for the... Well, allocation is just a big fucked up fancy way of saying the way it's distributed, the way it's um, set up, basically. The way the the power distribution for each individual item in this game is set up, it could be optimized and made a lot more efficient. Honestly, don't know how to cram everything that I'd like to say into a single bit of feedback down here. But for right now... Yeah, just watch the video. <laughs> You know, tell the devs over it, uh, was it? I forgot who makes Subnautica. What was it? Unknown Worlds. I don't remember, I forgot. Anyway, I'm, I'm done for the moment. I'll come back and do more later. Till next time, bye.